process okay how the records are inserted how the records are retrieved okay how to map to data tables okay everything comes under data model okay inserting the data updating the data retrieving the data okay so deleting the data so all the things comes under data model okay and this data model category contains both in work classes and in data classes in the work classes we have data model and under the data classes also we'll use data model okay so generally in the data classes you will use the data explorer option okay for adding the data model part okay we have a explorer called data explorer but the previous version okay so in 7.2 it is mandatory to use the data explorer but till 7.1 version without using data explorer also we can work on application but from 7.2 it is mandatory actually till 7.1 version will be using the option call from the designer studio menu data model data tables okay from till 7.1 version we'll be using this option for generating the tables but from 7.2 this is deprecated okay till 7.1 in the coming sessions i'll show you okay in the coming sessions when i tell the differences practically i'll show you till 7.1 till all the previous versions for adding the tables in the application data tables for creating the data tables in the application we'll be using the option from designer studio data model data tables data tables but from 7.2 this option is removed okay data tables has been replaced with a new local data storage format so please click convert to each data table to convert them into new format okay so we don't have any tables here existing tables will not be there in the personal edition so we have to generate the new tables depend upon the requirement okay so no tables are there so okay so we cannot add any new tables here so close this option it will not work from 7.2 so from 7.2 version we have to add tables from data explorer okay so data explorer contain different things like tables creation will be there okay so insert that we can add the properties means generally in other programming languages you will write queries okay so insert into table table and depend upon the database we use we will write some queries and all but here in pega no need to write any queries whether it can be any database no need to write any queries for every database the process is same and i told you pega personal edition internally we have a default database that is so right now internally we have the default database as post jerry sql database and no need to start the database manually when you open the application automatically database is ready to use okay so the default database we have is post jerry sql we cannot manual we cannot physically open the database here it is part of the application and it is internal to the application okay we cannot physically see the database open and we cannot see the database here okay it is part of application setup and when you start the server database also will load automatically okay so directly within the application only we can add tables and we can map the functionalities okay we can perform all the actions insert update retrieve delete all these actions we can perform directly within the application okay no need to open the database physically we cannot open also so from the data explorer we can achieve that one okay from 7.2 it is mandatory this option is there in 7.1 also but without touching this option we can do the task but from 7.2 this data explorer is mandatory without using this we cannot add tables so there is a arrow mark is there just click on this arrow okay we have different options are there so we don't have any existing data types okay so the refresh option if we refresh it will show any data types are there so right now we don't have any data types okay data types or data tables both are same here so under this arrow if you want to generate a new table okay for generating a new table click on add data type okay so click on add data type okay i told to forget one thing before proceeding this thing 
I want to tell you one thing that is the most important thing. So generally Pega application contains something called rule set. Okay. So we know what is rule type and we know what is a rule. Okay. So we know what is rule type and we know what is the rule. But what is rule set? Okay. We have seen what are the rule types in Pega and under the rule types you will have rules. Okay. Generally under the rule type you will have all the rules will be there. For example, data model contain data model rules. Okay. So process contains process rules. User interface rule type contains user interface rules. Okay. So according to the design requirement, we are going to add the rules in the application. Okay. And in this application, once after creating the application, from now, okay, so till now we didn't create any new things in the application. Okay. So from now, what are the things we are adding in this application? So where they will store? Okay. So where they will store? So in order to store the data or what are the records we are creating in this application, Pega have something called rule set. Okay. So rule set is a repository or a container. Okay. So it is a repository or a container. See, either if I say records or rules, both are same. So any new anything you are creating in the application, it is nothing but a rule in Pega, or we can also call it as a record in Pega. Okay. Any new thing if you are adding in this application, okay, as part of design in the developer environment, everything we can call it as a rule or record we can call. Okay. So if rule set is nothing but a repository or a container to store records or rules in this application. Okay, so this is our application. So what are the application we generated? This is our application name, Citibank. And the rule set name also automatically created with the same name. Okay, so what are the application name we have given? With the same name, rule set name also get generated automatically. So application name is same as rule set name that is Citibank. Okay, if you don't know what is your rule set name, if you check in the application menu, Okay, if you check in the application menu, you can you can know what is your rule set name. Okay, so by default, it will get generated automatically by the setup. Okay, when we did the application setup, automatically it will take the application name and inside that, from now, whatever the data we are creating or whatever the records we are adding in this application, it will be saved inside this rule set. Okay, so rule set contains two things. One is rule set name and rule set version. Okay, it is a combination of two things. One is rule set name and version. And this version will be in three variants. Okay, so one is first one. Okay, so there will be three things. Okay, there if there are any major changes, so by default in Pega personal edition, no need to reset. Automatically it will take it. No, it will automatically by default it will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so the first 0 1 represents any major changes for that particular rule and the second 0 1 represents any minor changes for the rule and the third 0 1 represents any patch okay any small patch thing okay so like that for every rule there will be rule set okay so whenever you are creating any new rule in the application or new record you are adding in the application automatically it will be saved under a repository or container called rule set okay in the developer environment whatever you are adding from now okay everything will be saved inside a repository called rule set okay it is a like a uh, storage area so where everything will get stored finally after the entire design is completed we can take a backup of this rule set okay so finally after the design is done from the developer environment so we can take a backup so for that also there are some tools are there so some doc, some exporting tools will be there so just export the data from this developer environment from this rule set okay and import to the production server okay so that is our task so till exporting the data will be 
developer task okay so for that in this application from now anything you create okay that is either in the work class or data class or integration class anything if you create in this application it will be by default stored in the rule set only okay so rule set is a repository or a container to store all the records in this application so by automatically anytime if you are creating any new new rule in the application that is new record in the application it will be stored in this rule set so for this application the rule set name is city bank is the rule set name okay so similarly so what are the application name you have given with the same name rule set name will get generated now now start with a data table creation from data explorer okay from data explorer go to this open this arrow and click on add data type okay so data type or data table is same okay so click on add data type okay it will open a dialog box here so give some label okay some every table will give some name right but in pega the name will be in class format okay so in pega data table name or data type okay data type or data table here is same actually data type means in previous versions again there is a change in from previous version to current version generally in previous versions data type means is nothing but property type in previous versions data type is nothing but property type but here from 7 it is data table name okay but in previous versions data type means nothing but property type that is whether the data type of property is integer text or okay so whether it is a calendar or something so we have different data types with the right identifier password so but in current version okay data type is different from the previous version small changes has been done so differences i'll show it in the coming scenarios so right now data type is nothing but a table name and in pega table name will be in the form of class format okay in pega everything will be in class format right so here automatically when we give the name here for example i'm giving sample table i'm giving as a label so description it will automatically take the same so click on advanced okay it will automatically configure the data class okay this is the actually any time if you want to use this table in the application so this entire name we have to use so this entire name we have to use as the table name that is city hyphen uh, data hyphen what are the name we have given so with that name we have to with that name table will get generated okay so the same name we have to use for this usage purpose in the coming scenarios if you want to use the table we have to use the table name as city hyphen data hyphen sample table okay so no need to modify anything here just click on submit okay so table just a structure will be generated then inside the table some column names we have to enter right so in every table contains some column names that is nothing but property names okay so column names are nothing but property names so we are going to under this table we are going to add some property names okay so here you can use two to three options are there for adding the properties okay so directly there will be option called data model okay so here we can add the fields one by one we can add the fields so so one by one for adding the fields click on add option add field okay we'll have different parameters okay so first is name okay property what property name you want to enter you can give some property name for example i'm giving ssn id and data type of the property okay type is nothing but here property type whether is a text okay whether is a integer okay boolean phone okay password so so many data types are there so here uh, the data type is so you can take as integer you can take okay next so if you want to add remaining fields so same way click on add a field and you can enter the range so it is totally different from the previous versions okay how we generate the tables in previous versions i will show in the coming sessions now um, 
add the remaining some and taking some few fields. So name is and data type is text only. Some taking just a sample table I'm adding. Generally, the property name and ID both will be given same. So for changing the data type, go to change option and select data type. Next, click on add a row. So like that, what are the property names you want to enter in this table, you can add here. So now, one thing is, for every data table, okay, at least one primary key property we have to set, okay. So when you are adding a table in Pega, for every table, at least one primary key record we have to set. So that is some for every table there will be some primary key property will be there. Okay. At least minimum one property and maximum any number of properties you can take. Okay. So when you are generating a table, at least one property we have to set as a primary key property. So within this table I want to set for SSN ID property. Okay. So you can set for the I want to set for the SSN ID property. So go to sources. Okay. So go to sources tab. Okay, click on this button, create a local source. Create a local source. Okay. So the same properties, it will map here. Same properties will map. And now you can see options here. There is an option called use as key. See you guys are following right. So just you, once again I'll show you. So what we did is after adding the table names or after adding the property names here, go to sources, okay, go to sources tab and the data type has no source, at least one source we have to set, okay, at least one primary key property we have to set. So click on this option, create a local source, create a local source. So minimum one property and maximum any number of properties. So generally, if a property contains a unique record, further property will set as a primary key. Suppose if a property doesn't contain any duplicate records, then we can set it as a primary key. So here within this properties, SSN ID contains a unique record. Okay. So we can set it as a enable this option. Okay. So add this property as a primary key. Then automatically, okay. So you can see data pages and all will be generated there is something called data page i'll tell you in the coming scenarios okay so in the previous versions means data page we have to create manually but here along with the data table itself it will automatically configure data page so what is data page and all i'll show it in the coming scenarios okay so i'll give a small idea brief idea about data page so when we generate the table now Along with after setting the primary key, okay, here we have set the primary key as SSN ID. So if a property contains unique record, we have to set it as a primary key. And along with the table, it will automatically configure data page. So two types of, again, data page contains two types of structures. And the main purpose of data page is to load records. If you want to load records, that is also load dynamic records. So just page name will be created in the coming sessions we have to configure that one. Okay. So anytime if you want to load dynamic records from the database, by using this data page we can reuse in the application. Okay. So for every table automatically data page gets generated. The purpose of the data page is to load dynamic data or load dynamic records. Okay. How to load these dynamic records and reuse them. Okay. So load dynamic records and reuse in the application. Okay. So as of now there are no records but automatically along with the table 